a smile upon my face. I give myself a big embrace. Hug, hug, hug. It's gonna be a great day. When I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth and wash my face. I comb my hair, put it in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a great day. Open up the curtains, let the sun shine in. Even if it's raining, I'm still gonna grin. Nin, 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 nin. Cause when I wake up in the morning, I put a smile upon my face. I give myself a big embrace. Hug, hug, hug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a great day. Yay! Hello you, it's me, Miss Me. <gasps> did you miss me? Cause I sure did miss you. And that's why I'm so very, 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 very happy that I get to spend time with you today. Rhyming and singing and reading. That's right. We have a story planned for today that's going to shape up into something spectacular. But before that, do you know what time it is? Woo! Woo! That's right. It's rhyme time. Now remember, a rhyme is when one word sounds the same as another word. Like lamp and stamp. Or table and label. Or hair and, that's right, square. Oh, I like that. Square, 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 I've got it. Let's make up a rhythm chant using the word square. Now, I'll do it first, and I promise we'll do it a second time together. Now to get started, we need to get the beat going. So, you can tap the beat out on your head, or your shoulders, or your knees, or a drum. Now those of you with tiny little bookworms out there that can't quite tap the beat out on themselves just yet, you can gently tap the beat out on them. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Shapes, shapes everywhere. A circle, triangle, or a square. Look around and you shall see. Shapes are different and special like you and me. Keep that beat going because this time we're doing it together. Are you ready? Here we go. Shapes, shapes everywhere. A circle, triangle, or a square. Look around and you shall see. Shapes are special and different like you and me. Very good. Oh, you're so very good at rhyming. And you know, today's story just happens to be about shapes that are different and special like you and me. So sit back and get ready for today's story, Shapesville. Shapesville. The authors, or the people who wrote the book, are Andy Mills and Becky Osborne. The illustrator, or the person who did the pictures, is Erica Neitz. Just down the road, not too far away, is a place called Shapesville, where lots of shapes play. In Shapesville, it doesn't matter what size, shape, or color you are, because here, everyone is a star. Whether you are large, medium, or small, very short, or extremely tall, come one, come all, and join us, friend. We'll have a ball, and in the end, you might learn a thing or two about liking yourself because you are you. In Shapesville, it doesn't matter what size, shape, or color you are. Just ask Robbie the Rectangle. He's an artistic star. Robbie is red and knows he is tall, has one eye on his head, and is great friends with all. In Shapesville, it doesn't matter what size, shape, or color you are. Just ask Cindy the Circle. She's a movie star. Cindy is bright yellow and uniquely round. 
She always says hello with confidence abound. In Shapesville, it doesn't matter what size, shape, or color you are. Just ask Tracy the Triangle. She's a basketball star. Tracy is dark green and a little bit shy, but she likes to be seen with her head held up high. In Shapesville, it doesn't matter what size, shape, or color you are. Just ask Sam the Blue Square. He's a music star. He's perfectly tall and equally wide. And best of all, Sam's happy inside. In Shapesville, it doesn't matter what size, shape, or color you are. Just ask Daisy the Orange Diamond. She's an academic star. Daisy loves to read books and is super smart. Doesn't fret about her looks, for beauty is in her heart. In Shapesville, it doesn't matter what size, shape, or color you are. Just ask our friends. They will tell you how happy and healthy your shape can be. Just try all the food groups and you too will see. Take care of your body, love it, have fun. For we are all unique, whether we bike, swim, or run. Just do what you like and like what you do. Go find an exercise that's just right for you. So tell all your friends, whatever shape they may be, that what matters most may not be on TV. It's not the size of your shape or the shape of your size, but what's in your heart that deserves first prize. Be proud of your body. Any size, shape, or color will do. Be proud of your body because you are a star too. I love this story. And one of the things I love most about today's story is that it reminds us that no matter what shape or color or what we like to do or we're good at, we're all special. We're all different. We're all one of a kind and we're all perfect. Now, from today's story, can you remember which character was a rectangle, had one eye, and loved to do art? That's right, Robbie the Rectangle. Now, can you tell me from today's story which character was a dark green triangle and loved to play basketball? That's right, Tracy the Triangle. Now, can you remember from today's story which character was a diamond shape, orange in color, and love to read. That's right, Daisy the Diamond. Now, one more. Can you remember from today's story which character was blue, a square, and was happy inside and loved to play music? That's right, Sam the Square. We're all different. We're different shapes. We're different sizes. We're different colors. We like to do different things. We're all different and we're all special and we're all one of a kind and we're perfect just the way we are. But sometimes we forget. Have you ever felt like you don't fit in? You're different than everybody else. Well, I have. And this is what I have to say. Hip, 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 hooray. Cause being different is what makes me, me. I'm the perfect me. It's so much fun to be me. We may be different, that much is true. For instance, my eyes are blue. I'm the perfect me. It's so much fun to be me. We may be different, and that is great. For instance, I can't roller skate. Yes, I'm different. Another me. 
I'm the perfect me. It's so much fun to be me. We may be different as different can be, but being me is all I want to be. So why would I compare myself to millions and billions of people every I can't. Yes, I'm different. I'm one of a kind that makes me special. And you're never, ever, 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 ever gonna find another me. I'm the person. Miss me? Miss me? Oh, there you are. Hello, Miss me. It's me, Professor Etymology, with the whimsical word of the week. Hullabaloo. <laughs> Hullabaloo is a great noise or excitement, an uproar. <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> that was quite the hullabaloo. <laughs> goodbye, Miss Me. And goodbye to you too, Professor Ed. And thanks again for stopping by with the whimsical word of the week, hullabaloo, a great noise or excitement, an uproar. And we hope you're doing okay after your last hullabaloo. And we'll see you soon. Well, my little bookworms, today's activity is next. And today's story, Shapesville, inspired me to make my very own homemade shapes portrait. Ta-da! Now, moms and dads and caregivers, today's activity is easy, it's fun, and it's a great way to start the conversation about being different and being special and being one of a kind and being perfect just the way we are. So for today's activity, well, it was easy. We took a board and we covered it with some black paper. Then we cut out different shapes out of different colored paper. So we are using scissors, so watch over our little bookworms so everyone is safe and sound. We used a glue stick to glue down the shapes to make our shapes portrait. What do you think? I think it looks just like me. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing pictures of your shapes portrait. So when you're done, take a picture and send it in to me, Miss Me. Well, my little bookworms, our time together for today is almost over. But I have a very good feeling we'll be seeing each other very soon. So it's not goodbye, it's till when we see each other again. It's not goodbye, no, it's not goodbye, it's till we meet again. It's not goodbye, it's till when. We do this all over again. It's not goodbye, no, it's not goodbye. It's till we meet again. Now remember to keep reading, even when I'm not around. Who knows where that next story will take you? Till we meet again. Mmm.